Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to shoot this wine bottle in glass and I'll take you through the entire process of uh, uh, shooting and editing and setup. So let's jump right into it. This is my scene, the wine bottle and the glass and they're placed on a metallic matte surface. I'm going to use three flashes, one on each side with a strip box shooting through a uh, tracing paper scrim. This is one, this is the other one. Both these flashes are Godox uh, AD400 Pros. And uh, for the background, I'm going to shoot through a double layer of plastic translucent uh, sheets uh, with the speed light and uh, reflector to create that gradient bowl of light in the background. I'm going to shoot with my Canon 7D Mark II and the Canon 24-70 Mark I lens. Once I have my base shots, I'll uh, take another shot or two for the labels and uh, glow through the wine from behind. And like every other shoot, I will start with a shot without the flashes to make sure that I have a black frame and uh, none of the ambient light is affecting my uh, exposure. So I'm going to turn off all my uh, lights and let's take this shot. Great, we have a completely black frame and we can start working with the lights. So um, I will add the lights one at a time. I'll start with uh, the background, which is group C, if I recall, and we'll take this shot and see what we get. So here's our background, and uh, now we'll proceed to introduce the other flashes. I'll start with the flash on the right-hand side. It's on 8th power, and uh, let's see what we get. Oh, nice. Now I'll add the left flash, and uh, we'll take another photo. And there is our base exposure. I will now take another shot or two for the glow in the glass and the label. And then we can use all these frames to comp them together into the final shot in Photoshop. So let's get to it and move on to the edit. So here are the shots that I have chosen to composite this uh, photo. This is the main shot, which you've seen me shoot a few minutes ago. I have also shot a couple of uh, frames with the flash behind the glass to bring out the color of the wine. And uh, I'll use either one or maybe both of them. I've also taken a couple of shots uh, for the labels. Uh, one is brighter, the other is a little darker, and they too will be useful for this composition. So after I've made a few minor adjustments in Camera Raw, I will now open all the files as a stack in Photoshop. This means that all these photos will be loaded into one document as layers, and then we can proceed to align the layers and uh, start the blending and the final composition of this photo. First, I'll make sure that all the photos are aligned with each other. So I'll have all the layers selected and go to File, Auto Align Layers. And uh, this will make Photoshop attempt to align all the layers together. Some of the layers have the glass in them and some of them don't, so I hope that uh, Photoshop will be successful in aligning them. So uh, let's take a look here. I'll turn on and off all the layers to see if there's any movement between them. This one seems okay, but Photoshop actually did a pretty crappy job at this uh, alignment. I'll have to deal with it later if, if needed. So this is my base layer, and I'll pull it uh, downwards beneath all the other layers, and uh, then we'll proceed to add all the other parts of this image. So I'll start with the label. 
um, I will add a black layer mask to this layer so uh, it will be hidden and then with a soft white brush I will gently brush the area that I want to reveal. This is a process that I'll be using a lot during this composition and any composition actually so uh, it's uh, important that you learn how to do this properly it's uh, it's very useful. I'm currently using 100% uh, opacity on my brush um, I will later adjust uh, the opacity as needed uh, with the layer opacity. Here I had some uh, overspray on the glass so using the uh, magic wand tool I've selected those dark edges and uh, used the black brush to uh, hide the areas which I have mistakenly revealed. And uh, now I'll adjust the layer opacity to around 60% and uh, I will slightly uh, darken the center of the label to complement the lighting setup which is from the sides and it will help to retain the three-dimensionality of the of the bottle and lighting. Here's the before and after and I think it looks pretty good. So I'll proceed to do exactly the same for the top label. Here's a little before and after. I think it's looking very good and I will now uh, proceed to do as I did on the bottom label, uh, darken the center a little bit to, to be more in line with the, with the lighting setup. Mm -hmm. I think it's looking good. So we have our base layer and we have our labels ready and uh, we can uh, move on. The leg and the base of the glass are reflecting at the bottom part of the bottle right here and here. So I'll see if I have another exposure that uh, doesn't have it. There, this one. So I will use that to get rid of those reflections. I'll add a dark layer mask as before and uh, using a white brush I will composite this part of the clean layer on top of the layer with the reflection. Since this is a very dark area I think it's better if I add a, a curves adjustment layer and turn it up very bright. This will bring up a lot of the details uh, in the dark areas and I'll be able to see that nothing crazy is happening there and that my uh, retouching is uh, seamless and doesn't have any funky results. There's also something weird going on with the reflection of the scrims towards the center of the bottle. I believe it's some kind of a reflection from the glass. I will have to deal with that later in the cleanup process. Okay, so now on to the glow through the glass. Um, I'm going to go through the process that I went through with the labels uh, and comp in uh, parts of the glow layers that I showed you before. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm speeding this up so you won't have to wait too long for this to finish but the process is exactly the same as I did on the uh, labels just masking in 
and playing with the opacity uh, until I get what I want. So I ended up using uh, a bit of uh, both uh, glow layers and uh, then I grouped them together um, to control the opacity as uh, one unit. And uh, that's it for this. And uh, now I will proceed to the cleanup process. So I'm making a new layer, I'll call it cleanup on top of uh, all the other layers. And uh, using the clone stamp and the uh, healing brush, I will uh, meticulously go over the entire image and clean every speck of dust and imperfections uh, in the bottle and so on. Uh, just uh, be sure to do this on a, a separate layer and not on top of one of your uh, actual layers. And uh, make sure that the sampling at the top uh, toolbar is set to current and below. Uh, and then uh, your uh, work will be non-destructive and you can always go back and restart if, if needed. I'm also cleaning up uh, the reflections of the scrims on the sides of the bottle. It has some imperfections and uh, uh, actually it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the bottle. Uh, because it has uh, some parts of the table, the surface that I'm shooting on, reflecting at the bottom. So I'll fix that so the nice gradients uh, follow the entire bottle all the way down. And there you go. This is pretty much it. I'll just give it a little crop to get rid of the rough edges from the alignment of the layers. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the comments and I'll try to answer every one of them. This is my final image. If you enjoyed, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next photo shoot.